Eh. Yaani maisha ni mbaya. Nimeona leo kwa standard kama hao wana masikio wasikie. Eh. Kuna mtu ameandika pale a very clear statement anaitwa Barak Muluka. Amemwambia Ruto <laughs> ubo wa guyu yu ni kudhuku ni kubaya. Na azina ndo alama kwa ma Kenya kwanza. Mimi mwenyewe naomba Mungu anisamee because nilisema niliwaita Kenya kuisha. Ai, <laughs> nikaona hii Kenya kuisha they are actually wanamaliza maliza Kenya. So mimi na, na I'm reversing those words. Nitawaita what they want to be called Kenya kwanza because that was their clarion call. Wana shida na wameleta shida nyingi. Na kila wakati wanapeana eh utterances ambazo ni za ajabu. Kwa mfano, kuuza parastatos. Parastatos ni mashirika yale ambayo yanamilikiwa na umma wa Kenya. Kama Kenyatta International Conference Center ni sura ya Kenya. Ukiwaliza anasema wamesukumwa sana na mashirika ya IMF. Nataka wakumbuke kwamba miaka ya zamani in the 90s the same Bretton Woods institutions walikuja na mipangilio mingine amba Afrika ilikata. They were calling them at that time a structural adjustment program, SAPS. So if you, if, kama, kama mzungu anakwambia nil, una nil, eh, ama anakwambia jump, you don't, kama vile county secretary alikuwa anasema, eh, hey, bwana, don't, don't, mimi, I don't want that county secretary. Atikaloza kesema jump. You, you don't want to doubt. Unamuliza, how high do you want me to jump? Apana, vikiria bwana. Asa kuambia ujambu na konga mulima. Eh. So we have to think and reason. Inchi kotabani. Na mimi, kwa pande wangu, na wenzangu, azimio, tumeamua kushikana, tuambie wa Kenya ukweli. Kwa sababu ukweli ni kitu ya maana. Kumbukeni, sometimes people misquote the Bible. And say, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Jesus was talking about himself. Hey, lakini watu anapitia huko, utajua ukweli. But it was him. If you know who God is, then you know the truth. We unatoa ushuru hata zaidi. You cannot, in times of depression, because tulisikia kutoka kwa waziri mdungu wa serikali ya Kenya kwanza, anaismamia feather, Akakubali kwamba this country is in a, the economy is in a depression. We are all in a depression. Then I asked him, in a situation like this, how can you overtax people? Yanatoka Kenya, yanamia Tanzania. Na weo nasema utataftea vijana kazi. And so this is the result. Mukisikia kwamba wizi umezidi, ni kwamba vijana wanda jia ya kujimudu. Ndi wanaiba kwa hakuna nafaza kazi. Wanaotaka kuwajiri, wameenda, wameamia Tanzania, wengine Uganda. I don't know whether you noticed Mwishmua Mwole, Mwishmua Mbui yesterday. The road to Busia. Ma truck. Yale marodi ya kubeba ma, mafuta. You could count them. A month ago, yalikuwa nafurika. Lakini sasa Uganda mafuta yake wame, wamepindua jia. Wanatua kutoka Tanga, Dar es Salaam, kuelekea Uganda. Na ile, ile... <laughs> Even that economy peke yake ya hiyo malori, imeama, imeenda Tanzania. Vijana wana kazi, ma driver, long distance driver, sasa wana shida, a lot of them are Kenyans, and people are assuming things are okay. Naona nefike hapo. Itulizane. I want to thank once again the Catholic bishops, because wametua msimamo kamili wakati tulikuwa na kikao hiki. Ambacho tulikuwa tunazungumza baadhi ya mambo mengine juu ya garama ya maisha. Waliweka wazi because wao they rely on the parish priest, they rely on everybody na wanapata habari kamili vile wanainjo wanaumia. Walikuja wakatueleza. And even wakatua statement kali sana juu ya garama ya maisha. <laughs> we have to tell each other the truth as Kenyans. Now, truth in Ikwamba, we are not doing well as a country. In governance, and we probably are settling to the reality Ikwamba jamaa mechukua mamlaka kwa njia ambayo walitumia. Na mimi nasema hivi. Uchaguzi kama itakuwa 2027, 
Naomba tuushinde mwaka ujao 2024. Because wa jamaa wame, wame, wame yani ushuru kila mahali. Karibu hata hewa wameuza. Wanauza hewa inaitwa carbon sink. Hewa. Uniamini wameuza na wamechukua pesa wakaweka mfukoni. Unaona hii msitu wenu ya IVT hapa? Hewa safi. Hii hii mitino ya IVT ameangi mmedhozi mbeza na kutubai.